here now. Yeah, you here, man. You ready to become Aquafina's God now? Man, I don't know if Aquaponic is ready for us. <laughs> I'm ready to show the world Aquaponic, uh -huh. how to grow some vegetables. And once you eat these fresh vegetables, your taste will not go back to the grocery vegetables. That's right. And the fish. And the fish, baby. But you can't believe it. You can't feel it until you taste it. <laughs> it's just the way it works. You have to taste it. Then you never go back. That's right. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Up again. again. This is the next morning. Listen, we came last night. Get calls at the airport. I was about 12 a.m. Took us about, uh, we got back here about 2, 2 a.m. And now it is... We're at 6, 6.50 in the morning, and we gotta go pick up Paul from AST Filters. That's our special guest for today. We're gonna be picking him up right now, so we're on the grind again. That's another hour and a half drive. We're super tired right now, like three hours of sleep. But the show must go on, and sometimes you have to do these type of things, you know, in order to provide the content for the people out there, because that's just the law of the land. <laughs> Carlos, how you, how you feeling right now, man? Man, I'm used to this. Huh? I'm used to this. It's, this is nothing new. We do this. It just happens every time. It never <laughs> ends, so you get used to it. You and, uh, but we're excited to go see Paul, though. Yeah. We're excited to see Paul. Paul is the master at the bead filter. He's the bead filter god right there. He is the master. <laughs> he, he lives and breathes and eats this filter for some reason. <laughs> you can feel it when he helps you out about bead filters. And um, we're excited to see Paul. Paul's gonna let us know how it is about the feet, uh, filters. So, man, we'll see what we got. We got for you guys. Uh, we'll see what we come up with. What kind of, what type of content we come up with Paul when he gets here. Um, but we're pumped right now. Tired? Yes. But pumped? Absolutely. Woo! What's up, Paul? Hey, what's, up? <laughs> what's going on, man? Good, good to see doing? you, man. Good, good to, to see you. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, man? Yeah, <laughs> got you on there. Good man, how was the trip, man? We got Paul from AST Filters. That's right. <laughs> Needing the coffee, man. Been up since three. Days. Okay, let's go get this man some coffee, man. Let's go get Paul some coffee. I want to know what about you? What was your major to get into the aquaculture? Um, so in, in 2009, I went to UNC Asheville. I wanted to do some hard science stuff because I had degrees that were. Um, they weren't gonna really give me a job in 08. Okay. <laughs> well, knows it too. <laughs> you know your degree's not gonna get you a job. Right, right. That's crazy. So, so I wanted to do some hard science stuff, and uh, I knew I wanted to work with fish in one capacity or another, and I thought I was gonna do, uh, I wanted to be a fishery biologist. That's crazy. That's, and that's, I was that's thinking a, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah Carlos yeah, is gonna do that, yeah? Marine biologist. Marine biologist, so yeah. that's, that's really what I wanted to do, and and I was so sensitive about finding a job that I started looking for jobs before I even really started getting into the major. And when I saw that, you know, a couple hundred people were looking for one job and everybody has the same resume, I said, there's gotta be something else. So I, yeah. I widened the search and I ended up reading um, an article about the blue revolution. Okay. Um, uh, you know, aquaculture and mm -hmm. um, offshore fish farming in um, uh, in a magazine. And I was like, man, this is cool. What is aquaculture? Right. And then so I started reading more. So that was 2009, 2010 maybe. And then I dove right in. And um, uh, I did a bunch of work in fisheries because I was kind of, you know, you could do a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. uh, you could work with fish directly. Uh, and then I started working in a lab. I ran an aquatic vivarium. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then, okay. and then it was from there, um, I went to grad school at NC State. Okay, okay. And then NC State, uh, I was, uh, uh, I worked as a biologist and I did uh, uh, work as a technician in aquaculture. Okay. And then it, it evolved from there. And somebody, well, when I first started in 2012 uh, at NC State, mm -hmm. they said, um, 
you know, Paul, with your skills, you know, you should really think about aquaponics. And I said, aqua who? <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. going to say, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, aqua, what, what is that? Yeah. What is that? Bro? Yeah, yeah, that's what he was so, saying. So, 2000, and then I read about aquaponics, I said, holy shit, yeah. I can do this yeah. anywhere I want. Mm -hmm. And I can do exactly what I want. It's really up to me what I can do. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm writing my own ticket now, and that's that's that was that was it, man. It seems like you just are loving the bead filter. Well, when we talk to you, man, you know it feel what? like you got a deep passion for you the bead what? filter. Let me well, hear it. I'm passionate about what I do. Okay. And part of the reason is that um, I'm passionate about fish. Yeah. And the bead filters make it so easy. Mm, okay. That if you if you take care of the bead filter, mm -hmm. if you remember, you have to you remember the maintenance, and it's not much. Right. You remember the maintenance. You can keep your fish healthy, happy, make them grow fast. Um, and so the reason I like the bead filter so much is because I like the fish so much. Okay, you that I mean? it makes like, sense, okay. I like the, I like the fish, I, I, I want the water to be clear, clear. I want okay. them to be healthy, I want to be able to put as much feed into that system as, Got you. as is necessary for okay. those fish to grow quickly. Mm -hmm. And in order for me to do that, um, I need to have a bead filter to make that happen. Okay, I and see. And so, you know, one goes with the other, right? I'm passionate right. about the bead filters because I'm passionate about the fish. Like this man, Paul, can talk about some bead filters. Like, Paul be having dreams about bead filters. <laughs> unfortunately, what? unfortunately, that's true. Oh, <laughs> that's what Carlos, Carlos said, man, Paul got to be dreaming about bead filter. He wake up, oh my well, goodness, bead filter. What am I designing today? How am I designing? That night, after I get my little boy to sleep and, you know, I, 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 I do my family stuff, I think about he think about that bead filter. I Paul, do, that's why I said Paul's the bead. I know someone who has passion about something. We know, like, yeah, something because yeah, we yeah. sat on the phone when I called you the first time when we talked. I we was on the phone for at least an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and you and you didn't even know if that was going to even be a sale or anything. No, we just yeah. talked. We talked on there for about an hour and a half about bead filters. Well, and the other thing is, look. I don't, I don't want somebody to spend all the money that they have right. to get a bead filter. Okay. I'm not looking to, to, you know, sell them all or to sell them to somebody that doesn't need them. Right, That's right, the thing. right, so, right. There are a million ways to do what we do. Right. You know, there's a million ways to set up an aquaponic system. I'm just trying to figure out the best way that, that works with the bead filter. Okay. Right? So what's the best way? And it could be different. You know, depending on any one of the small variables, it could be different. So, you know, I, I'm going to be honest. I, like I tell y'all, I'm going to shoot you straight. Right. And I'm going to let you decide. You know, I'll tell you what the filters do. I'll tell you how they perform, what you need to do with them. And then you decide whether or not you like it. And the good thing is, I know I'm going to get straight feedback from y'all, too. Yeah, which right. Why, yep. Which is why I'm here right now. Yep, yep. Paul be in there sleeping, man. Oh, I knew. One beat filter, two beat filter, three. I told you guys there's endurance beat filter. <laughs> Waking up out his dreams, man. Holly guys, there's endurance filters. Yeah, that's right, man. That's like, man. I said, that's why I said, customer service God, bead filter God. Oh man. Paul dreams well, about that bead filter. I appreciate yeah. that. I yes. told you that when I first talked to you, Paul, like the second phone call, I was like, Paul, you know everything, don't you? You know everything well, about the filter. I don't, I don't. But what I do know is I know the guys that do know everything. Mm. I know my boss uh, designed it. It came in out of his head. Okay. Dr. Ron Malone. Mm, okay. He designed all of it. He owns patent. Uh, he holds patents on all the bead filters. Okay. And uh, so he he describes them all as his babies. Um, so I can call. You know, I talk to him every single day. Okay. And, okay. And I talk to uh, you know consultants that we have are guys that write the books. So, okay. So these are guys that that know me, um, and that if I don't know something, I'll tell you. Right. And I don't know everything. But 
I know a good bit about what I'm doing. Right, right. But I know the guys really know. Mm, okay. You know? So I can I can touch, you know, grab the phone, call them, and immediately I get an answer, and that's you know okay. thirty plus years of experience in recirculating aquaculture. Okay. 